Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we're going to be talking about algebraic extrusion, where a set of trajectories are defined for points algebraically given an initial front. So here I'm, I've got a collection of domains. I'm going to go ahead and select all of them, make sure I'm in unstructured mode, and go to Create, Extrude, Normal. Go to the Attributes tab, and these are the parameters that are going to govern my algebraic extrusion. The first parameter is the corner factor. The corner factor provides a means of locally increasing the marching step height in concave corners while decreasing it in convex areas to smooth the front. So you can see that with low corner factors, we're getting some pinching in this concave corner, but by increasing the corner factor, we can locally accelerate the growth out of that corner and smooth the front. Under the smoothing frame, the first option is features. Features smooths the vectors in the marching direction for connectors by weighting the normals by the cell area. You can see that it, with it disabled, the normal coming off of this connector is not being weighted by the cell area. Here with features enabled, the cell areas are influencing the direction of this normal and it's smoothing as it's being progressed. The next option is the quality metric. This is on by default. It's our new optimization based smoothing technique, which is in pointwise version 18. And it works by optimizing a cost function related to element shape and size. Interior only enables and disables interior only smoothing. If you had any boundaries in your, in your domain, you may want to enable or disable this. Maximum iterations is for our optimization based smoothing technique. Because it is iterative, this parameter controls the number of smoothing iterations performed per layer, and you'll typically set this between 5 and 200. And you can see that as you increase the number of iterations, that front gets smoother and smoother. The blend exponent specifies the blending exponent for this smoothing technique as well. It can range between 0 and 2. And what you're going to find is that lower values are going to result in wiggles in the marching direction with a more ragged front, as you can see here on the left. And as you increase that value, the larger values are going to produce smoother looking extrusions. And sometimes that'll come at the cost of extrusion robustness and stability. For additional smoothing, you can control two additional re relaxation factors, which vary from 0 to 1 and the number of smoothing passes. These two factors are direction and step size, which control the smoothing for marching normals and local step size, respectively. So back in point wise, I'm going to go ahead and extrude this into a sphere. I'm going to set my corner factor to 10 set maximum iterations to 40, and we're going to run this for 50 steps. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.